Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are watching this, whatever time you're watching this. My name's Andrew, and I welcome to these Avant Life devotionals. This week, we are talking about forgotten characters of the Bible. So we're not talking about your Moseses, your Joshuas, your Davids, your Peters, your Pauls. Today, we are talking about Naaman. Exactly. Who is Naaman? Naaman we read about in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5. Naaman was a commander of an army. And a really good one, respected by the king, respected by his community. Uh, but he got really sick, he got leprosy. And in Bible times, it was a terrible time to get leprosy. Actually, come to think of it, any time to get leprosy is a bad time. But Naaman got it and there was no cure. He'd been to all the doctors, been everywhere. But uh, just no luck, no cure. One of his slaves suggested that Naaman go to Israel because there's a prophet there who could bring about his healing. So Naaman packs up all his gear, packs up his family, his entourage, and they go to Israel. Knock on the front door of the prophet, boom, boom. Hey, I hear you're the prophet. And the thing is, Elisha didn't open the door. His servant did. And his servant said, look, the prophet told me to tell you to go wash yourself seven times in that river over there. There wasn't a river there. I did that for camera effect to go wash yourself in a river and Naaman's like that that river's filthy and the servant yep that's what the prophet said to do to get your healing so Naaman leaves furious starts walking home this is like the one they treated me so rude I brought all my team all this money all this way is furious with how he's been treated one of his servants one of actually one of the people in his army suggested to him hey hey Naaman if if the prophet had said to do something crazy like go get a flower from the top of a mountain or fight a bear with your bare hands, you would have done that, yeah? And Naaman responded, well, of course, I would have done it. So then the servant says, well, sorry, the soldier, the soldier says, well, just because it's easy, like why don't we just, why don't we see if this works? Why don't we see if you washing yourself seven times in this river will bring about your healing? So then Naaman has a think, all right, Let's do it. Goes to the river, starts washing himself. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I have only showered maybe once in a row. Rarely twice. Not three times. But Naaman did it seven times. And the Bible says that on the seventh time, as Naaman was drying himself off, his skin instantly was healed. And that his skin turned into really smooth skin, like baby skin, the Bible says. As I was reflecting on this passage of Scripture, it made me think... Like Naaman, and you know, rightly so, thought, hey, bathing myself seven times, that's a bit beneath me. That's a bit belittling. I wanted to, to do something a bit more exciting, I guess, to get my miracle. But how bad do we want our miracles? Are we willing to go through and obey and trust what God has asked us to do? and not consider it to be belittling, not consider it to be beneath us, not, not think that what God commands us to do is a small thing, but to actually follow through and obey to the nth degree all that God has asked us to do, whether it be to make that phone call, whether it be to send that text message, whether it be to just I don't know, do a, a random act of kindness, whether it be, hey, to wash ourselves seven times. Are we willing to go through that? Are we willing to fight that hard or that easy for our miracle? Guys, I'm going to leave you with that and also check out this view. Holla!